Hi, I'm Joe from Enjola from Group 6, and this is my Lab 7 video blog where I will be creating a 180 counter using three decade counters that is utilizing D flip flops. So, first, we will need four D flip flops and then we will connect them. And then we will connect to the reset button. And we will need an AND gate so that we can connect it to the reset button once it reaches over a count of a decade. So now we will test. So let's also test the reset button. So we can see that it's working properly. And when it reaches nine, the next will be it will go back to zero. It counts zero to nine. Now we will connect three decade counters so that we can get to a count of up to 180 counts. Now we will connect these three together. So when this decade counter finishes one cycle, it will reset and it will send a signal here. So let's connect that signal to the other decade counter and then when this finishes a cycle it will also send a signal to this decade counter and can you just connect connect all the reset switches and for a better display we can use this 4-bit decoder for a 7-segment display. So, let's use the decoder. Clear. Okay, now we have a working 3-decade uh, counter that is connected together. So, the next step will be to set it to be to count 180 and to do that we will put an AND gate in the clock and we will put an AND gate here So what this does is that when this digit is 0001 and this is 1000 or 18 for 180, it will be ended and it will send a positive signal here and it will therefore cancel out the clock from operating through this gate. So for example, we can speed up the simulation. And there we can see when it is both ended, it will be stopped by this AND gate. So the clock will not be working anymore. And here in this demo, we see that we can put an output so we can utilize the circuit when the timer is up. So we can connect it to other circuits. And this is the 180 counter using three decade counters made of different flops. That's all, thank you.